today, Baruch Hashem, is Rosh Chodesh Tevet, Aleph Tevet, seventh candle we lit last night. Tonight we're going to light the last candle, the eighth candle of Hanukkah. And we're going to learn some halacha today. We learned already all the halachas of Hanukkah, so we went on. We're going on the halacha of Kriyat Shema, say Kriyat Shema in the morning and in the evening. So it says in Shulchan Aruch and Siman Nun Tet, Nun Chet, 58, Seif Hei, part 5. If a person who Nenas, he was forced and he wasn't able to read Kriyat Shema at night, the whole night, until Amud HaShachar, until the beginning, beginning of the light started coming up. Yeah, all night he was busy. Let's say he was in the hospital. I don't know what he works. Maybe something which uh, he wasn't able to say. Since the sun did not yet come up, he could say Kriyat Shema even though we said before that the original time for reading Kriyat Shema of night is from the stars coming out until the beginning of the light. But if a person, the beginning of the light came and he was it was oinas, it was a situation, a present situation where he couldn't read at night Kachma. And then now, right now, the, the sun is starting to come, not the sun, the light is starting to come up. So then, what is it called in English? Dawn? Dawn, you call it? Dawn? Yeah, dawn is in the beginning of the day, in the morning? Yeah. yeah. So at that time, he could say Kachma for the night. Before the sun, came up before the sun started coming up yeah very good yeah but to make sure just one thing that if a person read Kachma at night read Kachma at night of the night when it was already a little bit morning and he has to make sure to read Kachma of the day when it's for sure morning meaning when the sun's already up you can't do two Kriyat Shema in the same period of time. And one is considered for the night, one is considered for the day. You're either night or day, you have to decide. So until the sun rises, it's still a little bit night. People are still a little bit sleep. Some of them are sleeping. So that, therefore, at night, you can to read, then you can read the Kriyat Shema of night. But if in that situation, the Kriyat Shema of the day, you're going to read only after the sun came up. Very good. It says uh, in Allah Chavav, even though we know the Kachma of the day, it has time. The time that like we explained last class, the time of Kachma of the day is till a third of the day. You take the day, divide it, divide it, and a third of the day, that's the time where you have to say Kachma until. And if a person did not do that, he did not say Kachma until that time. Doesn't mean he should not say Kriyat Shema anymore. He could say Kriyat Shema the rest of the day, even until the night. The only thing is that he missed the mitzvah of reading Kriyat Shema in time, but he gets reward like reading the Torah. And besides, there's an Indian, there's a there's an Indian to say Kriyat Shema, even if a person did not say it at time. He's saying Kriyat Shema. He's saying that Hashem is our God and Hashem is one. Every day you're supposed to say it, even if you missed the right time of saying Kriyat Shema. So that was the that's the salacha. Okay. Poiskim say that if a person reached the middle of the day, chatzot hayom, middle of the day, and he did not daven shachris at all, he cannot daven shachris anymore. He cannot daven kriachma with his blessings just to say kriachma alone. And if it was beoynes, if it was of a pressing situation, that's the reason why he did not pray shacharit. So then he'll be able to say to pray mincha twice. But if just because he was lazy or didn't feel like it, he did not have a so he has to do tshuva, and the next day he'll do have a chakras on time. Hopefully. Yeah. Very good. Now, that's halacha of Kriyat Shema. Now we're going to go on to Torah, to 
Siman Nun Tet, 59, chapter 59. It's the laws of Yotzer O. We say in the morning prayer, when we say Kriyat Shema, so there's two blessings we say before the Kriyat Shema and one blessing after. The first blessing that we say before Kriyat Shema, we say, Baruch Ata Hashem, Elokeinu Melech HaOlam, Yotzer O, Vorei Choshech, Ose Shalom, Vorei Takon. He created, he created light. He created darkness. He makes peace and he creates everything. Really, the verse says, Vorei Ra. He creates evil. But we don't mention that. We mention Vorei Takol. Hakol means everything includes also good and bad. Okay? Why do we have to mention the darkness in the day? We're, we're blessed. At night, we, that he makes evening. In the morning, he makes day. Why do we have to mention night? Shachan Aruch says, like the time of Avraham Avinu, there are those who say that the, that God uh, he made the sun, but he did not make the, the darkness, uh, he, or he makes the darkness, not make the sun. Or two different gods is a god of the, at the time of the Greeks. They're, they're, they're the idol for everything, an idol of the day, an idol of the night, an idol of the sun, an idol of the moon. So we don't say that. We say that he creates day and night. He's only one. One God, Yotzer O Borei Choshech, Oseh Shalom O Borei Takol. Everything He does, good, bad, everything that is happening, Hashem Himself is creating. That's how we mention this in the bracha of Yotzer O. It's important to make sure when you say Yotzer O, to make a break to say Baruch Ata Hashem. Yotzer O, and not Yotzer O. Yotzer O is not. I don't know. It's a, it's a word that doesn't exist in our language. So it's to say Yotzer, or that he creates, he forms light. Yeah, Yotzer, or he forms light. Okay? Very good. A little bit more in the halacha. Im ta'a. Oh, this thing that happens sometimes. Im ta'a, ve'amar asher bitvaro ma'ari ve'rabim. What happened to the person? He got confused. And instead of saying Yotzer Or, he said, Asher Bidvaro Ma'ariv Aravim. He began the blessing of Tfilat Arvit. But immediately he realized, and immediately, oh, Yotzer Or Borich Hashem, immediately went back and says the right words. And also he finished the blessing at the end, Baruch Atah Hashem Yotzer Amerot, he said the right ending of the blessing. He's Yotzer. But if he said, Asher Bivarom Ma'ariv Aravim, he began the, the prayers of Arvit, the blessing of Arvit. And he did not say Yotzer Or, but he finished Yotzer Amerot. Or he said Yotzer Or, but he did not end with Yotzer Amerot, then he's not Yotzer. Meaning you have to begin with Yotzer or Borei Choshech, and you have to end with Baruch Atah Hashem, Yotzer Amerot. And if you're missing one of them, you have to Yotzer that blessing, you have to go and say the blessing again in the, in the correct way. Yeah. Very good. But so that will be the halacha for today. And tomorrow we can talk about the Kedusha of Yotzer Or. There's a special Kedusha that we say in Yotzer Or. We say Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. And there's special laws to that. What happens if you're alone? Could I say it? How should I say it? So tomorrow, B'zal Hashem, we're going to learn these halachas. Thank you.